Another episode of our New Age series, I love this series, with fashion journalist Jeannie Becker! Yeah. How are oh, you? Such a pleasure. Ooh. And look at this color on you. Yeah, I'm wearing color. Oh, I love it. it. <laughs> Come have a seat. Thank so you. So I, I can't even tell you, Jeannie, how mm. many people I bump into at the grocery store, at the bank, and they're saying, that series you're doing with Jeannie oh. Becker. So good. Don't we love this series? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So great. So, you've been talking to a lot of your friends, and you've got a lot of famous friends, Jeannie. <laughs> okay, so you sat down with someone who is a mm. household name, not just in this country, but all over the world, uh, a supermodel who is Canadian, and someone who is a friend of yours. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us who you sat down with? Well, the fabulous Linda Evangelista. Uh -huh. She uh, came through Toronto to promote a beautiful new coffee table book that she did with photographer Stephen Mizell. And uh, she has just um, been one of the great blessings in my life for many reasons. She's inspired me in many ways. I kind of watched her grow up, obviously. Yeah. And, you know, met her during those fashion television years and shared a lot of time in the trenches. And then we shared uh, something else that was quite special um, later in life when uh, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was one of the first people to reach out to me when I announced it and she told me that she'd been keeping a big secret from the world that she too had had breast cancer a few years back. Mm. And then she had another bout of breast cancer just, you know, last year. So Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so she, uh, you know, she's been through some real tough stuff but yeah. uh, she is just a magnificent human being, really um, very big hearted and uh, her journey has changed her a lot, all for the better and she has uh, nothing but positivity uh, in her life right now and it's wonderful to see her glowing. Where do you see the connection between these two? Okay, let's have a look at Jeannie's candid interview with Linda Evangelista. For you, as someone who was so incredibly celebrated and still are for your just extraordinary physical beauty, um, that whole idea of seeing your body change, uh, you know, of aging, how, how did that uh, play on your mind? I mean, how, how well, did you get over the that? Well, the typical signs of aging I never had an issue with and I especially don't have an issue now because my goal is to get old. I want to be old. I've always thought wrinkles were beautiful and I'm okay with like I've had so many surgeries I'm okay with my scars. They're trophies. Wrinkles are trophies. Um, that experience with that cosmetic procedure those aren't trophies. They're not trophies and they are not typical signs of aging. There's these protrusions sticking out of my body. That was, I'll never love. I'll never love. Because I still live with the repercussions of my choice to do a non-invasive cosmetic procedure that wasn't plastic surgery. Um, I still have to live with the repercussions, but I've gotten help. Um, coming out with it has helped me to feel less shame, less embarrassed. But aging, I mean, bring it on. That's the goal here. I mean, that's the goal. How much I want to look good. I want to look good, don't get me wrong. Mm. And I think one does look good as they age. During that whole period, I stopped looking in the mirror, so I didn't even, I didn't look at myself. I couldn't bear to look at myself. And now that I'm out in the world and doing my own makeup, and um, st I am looking in the mirror now. And um, 
it's hard to look in the mirror after not looking for such a long time. But God, you must love what you see. You just, um, you're, you're it so It is beautiful. what it is. <laughs> but, you know, beyond the physicality, you know, we do understand that it's what one radiates that makes but, them yeah. beautiful. But getting, getting older and then going through cancer and having some scares really does put everything into perspective and what's important and your values and everything. Everything changes. You have a different outlook on life. When you called me last year after I announced my diagnosis to the world and you secretly shared with me that you'd gone through the same thing, I can't tell you, Linda, what that meant to me, um, what that did for me. Um, you're just an amazing person to share that with me and uh, thank you because that really helped me and no, inspired me. No, you helped me by going public and I, I just kept thinking, am I doing the wrong thing? I just... I, I couldn't do it. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll tell my story one day, but I, I can't do it right now. It, it just didn't feel right. I had no energy. You looked like you had energy. <laughs> I faked it. <laughs> and it was just something I, I wanted to do in private. Yeah, I can but, totally understand But I that. saw how one could be helpful because you were helping me. Mm -hmm. book, great cause for celebration, an amazing, amazing compilation of these shots that are so iconic, a great representation of, of the body of work. It was like love at first sight when we met and um, joy to work with each other. The way Stephen looks at me, he doesn't necessarily talk so much, sometimes I just look at him and I could tell by his expression what he would want from me. I love what I'm doing. I also still need to focus on my family, my little family, and uh, it's it's just different now. I'm living life, I'm going to dinners, I'm getting out there and, and I'm enjoying myself, but I'm enjoying this healthy period, I'm enjoying my son, and I'm just grateful. So grateful and so many nuggets from that conversation. Yes. Jeannie, did you enjoy speaking with Linda oh, like that? I always love speaking with her, yeah, really from the heart. Yeah, it she's was really from the heart. So you'll notice that uh, we've got a few new guests with us as well in studio. If we're going to talk about aging and beauty, mm -hmm. we brought in the models. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So many of you will recognize Rose Franchella, who modeled on City Life for years. From Jeannie's show, Style Matters on TSC, please welcome Katie Slater and Shona Whiteman. Thank you for joining us. It is so good to have you all. Rosie Rose, I have missed your face and those <laughs> cheekbones, too. girl. Thank you. It is Thank so you. good to have you back. You. I've missed home away from home, too. Yeah. Because this was home away from home for me. It was home away from home for you. And if we're talking about beauty and aging, we can actually talk a little bit about the changes that have been happening even at City Line, because you should actually have still been here that whole time. Right? I think, anyways, we should be following people's entire trajectory you don't get rid of people because they're starting to get old that's what happens in this industry exactly this is the industry this is the industry and it's changing and it has changed i want to i want to talk all about that um in the next half of this segment but first i want to talk about that whole idea of linda evangelista looking in the mirror and her not looking in the mirror for so many years and then going back to look in the mirror and then it's like oh that's me and I think all of us have that moment where we look in the mirror and it's like, that was not necessarily my perception of me when I mm -hmm. thought of myself in my head, but my mirror is telling me a different story. So how do you work through that when you are public facing like Jeannie and I, or your whole career mm -hmm. is based on your looks? Rose, what has that process been like for you? Well, I think you, I think you used a very good word, perception. There's nothing wrong with thinking one thing and just because you're looking in the mirror and it's telling you something else it's okay to think that because if that's what makes you smile and if that's what makes you walk out the door in the morning during the day um, to do what you have to do why not mm -hmm. if, if, if it works I mean you know mental 
um, mental health, mental stability, that's also come to the forefront as well. And I think it's very important. I think if we think positive, well, then we're going to have a great day. Yeah. Right? I love that. Shona, how's it been for you? How has aging been for me in the how's public eye? Um, yeah. How's that it, been for you? It's been challenging at times because mm -hmm. I started almost 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I was a teenager. And now to, when I catch myself in the mirror on television, like, oh, I feel like my mother. <laughs> but that's a blessing. Right. That is a blessing. So um, I'm, I'm thrilled and I'm honored to have been in this business for as long as I have been. Yeah. Do you want to say something, Jeannie? I, I just want to say, you know, we're, you know, I, I've got a, I've loved Rose forever too, but working with these two on Style Matters, every time they come out, it is such a blessing to me. I am elevated by just watching them. Mm -hmm. I think they have such, in, they, they're such incredible beauties inside out. Um, the way they carry themselves, I mean, that's something that comes with age too, the way they move through the world. And uh, these two are just, you know, like really cream of the crop. I, I, so, wow, it's incredible to think that you ever would doubt yourself when you just radiate such incredible beauty and style. <laughs> It almost comes back to what Rose said, perception, because anyone looking at anyone on this panel is thinking, what, what issue could you possibly have? Exactly. But the, but the bottom line is society is giving us a message mm -hmm. that we are internalizing yeah. in many ways. So, Katie, for you, what's the process been like? Has it been easy? Has it been difficult? And what, what would you sort of point to as something that's helped you through? Right. So I started modeling later in life. I was 40. Mm -hmm. And so I started off with, I'm old. <laughs> I, I don't have the pressure everyone else does. Right. I've had three kids. Yeah. Um, but I still do have to look in the mirror. And, you know, th every five years, you do notice much larger changes. Yes. And um, I guess at the end of it all, I say to myself, well, what's it going to be like in 10 years? Yes. I should be very grateful yes. for what mm -hmm. I'm looking at and, you know, what I can fix with makeup and, yes. you know, a little yeah. curling of the hair. Totally. So um, at the end of it all, I'm very grateful, very grateful that I'm still in the business yeah. and doing what I, I love to do. What I would say, um, and this is maybe similar with all of it, us, is that there is a constant conversation happening with yourself. <laughs> Yes. As you age, Final there's a question. constant conversation happening mm -hmm. with yourself. On the show, we're doing, you know, my 10-year anniversary, we're looking back at 10 years ago. My 15-year anniversary, we're looking back at 15 years ago. Guess what? I don't look the same. You know? And so I have to face those mm -hmm. images of a younger version of me constantly. Yeah. And then if I'm bumping into people at the grocery store, yeah. they're thinking, oh, you don't look like 2008. Oh, my. Yeah. Of course we don't. <laughs> None of us do, right? None of us do. Yeah. We, all, we all evolve. And so we just need that space to be able to do that and process yeah. that without being, I think, heaped on by society. Yeah. It's all about self-acceptance and getting it over is. yourself. Get over yourself.